the Saginaw Bay walleye fishery located right here in Michigan is second to none one of the best year-round walleye fisheries in the country same as Lake Erie in the connecting rivers Detroit River St. Clair River Lake St. Clair these bodies of water in Michigan are phenomenal walleye fisheries today I'm sharing this video with you guys from my trip with my buddy Dave from this past Monday Monday was the day the guys got stranded so two things before we start this video Number one, shout out to the Coast Guard and the local authorities that help these guys get off the ice. We all know there's no such thing as safe ice. We all know what can make the Saginaw Bay turn on you when you're out there, whether it's on the open water or the ice. Number two, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel, it costs you nothing. It just shows your support to my channel. I create a lot of videos that travel all across Michigan, hunting, fishing, as well as across the country, putting videos on the channel. And uh, your subscription would mean a lot to me. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I've got a really cool announcement I want to share with you guys. I put a little teaser post out the other day, but I want to share this information with you at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy my trip on the Saginaw Bay. What do you got there, David? Oh boy. Nice, what, probably three pounder? Yeah. Bloody nose. Let the moon shine. Yeah. I had just marked them. I'm gonna get you a picture. I had just marked them on my graph. It's still, I mean, the sun ain't even out yet. Um, that light's kind of, let me see. That light's kind of right in your face. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, the sun ain't even out yet. It is 7.20. And uh, I just marked one on the graph. Didn't even have the GoPro going for anything. And uh, Dave went ahead and robbed me. <laughs> he come into the frost, or the, uh, I got that chartreuse dinner bell on, but. See, you got the glow on. Maybe that's what I got to do. It came in charged right up. Like, it came right in my screen, but as soon as. It caught wind of ears over there. It, my, it was gone. It left me. I didn't have time to. No. On the flash well, I like I said. It, when I said it left, it looked at you, and you were hook set. Time for Frosty to shine. Which is fine when when they bite like that too, yeah, you know. Yeah, like when they not look at it. Yeah. Just come in there and hammer it. I would it. I would rather have a fish here, a fish there, and and so, charged up and actually eat it rather than mark a hundred fish and nothing wants to bite. nothing wants to bite. It. I was over here bucking around. He came over and checked out the frost. Oh yeah, nice one. Another nice one. Yeah, you had a bump because he came over to mine. Same spoon? No. Oh. Buckshot. There you go. He came in and checked mine out. Day, well, I was over here messing on the phone, and then I heard, I seen you, so then I looked over at the graph, and there was a fish down there, so there must have been more than one. I thought I had the, 
thought I snagged ice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Christ, Dave, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Had I been a little more prepared, I think I could have talked him into biting. He's on you now. Gotta be. Oh, that was a big fish. That was a big mark. He was right on Frosty. I was just saying about going to get the camera too. Whew, damn near had a heart attack. Looking the whole time. He was right on me. He's still on there. Jumbo perch, dude. Hog daddy. Bloody nose. What I got on? Oh, I got one on me. Big perch on there. He doesn't want mine. Charged up, come on. Come on. Got him. Holy shit. <clears throat> Ooh. Almost got the hook in the hand. And the I worked him up. I brought him up three feet off the bottom. Rusty. It wasn't no freebie. I had to bring him up. I had him damn near six foot of water. Really? Well, because I had it up higher in the column. And they came in and they looked at it, but then they dove back down. So it's the same thing like this rod, this rod and reel, um, it's called the smoke show so it's got a really flexible tip, <laughs> but it's got a lot of backbone. So you can fish, like, you could fish almost anything with this, you know? Yeah. Um, and then the reel, so I bought, when I bought, it was a Black Friday sale, and I bought the whole setup. There was multiple packages you can buy, but I bought this one. And it came with a couple of those dinner bell spoons, a couple of these tantrums, the rod reel. I think it was like a hundred bucks for everything. It's not bad. No. Like I like that where you could use it for perch or walleye. Like I mean. Yeah, and I mean you could pan fish with it if you wanted to. Yeah. But you could you you know I can go laker fishing or, or catch pike. Like I mean it's it's enough. it ain't bending back here. He's right in my hole. Looking hog. Oh, he missed it. Did he miss it? He got my minnow. Come on, frosty clownfish. See him? He got my minnow. Dude, it's a freaking hog, Daddy. Fucking nibble that thing. Got him. That's a hog. 
Grab him, grab him, grab him. That's a big one. Grab him. Got him. Inhaled that, dude. Look at that. Oh, that one didn't even turn on. Damn it. Look at that. He came, dude. He came and bumped mine too once. But... He wanted that big spoon and he stripped me. Dude, he didn't look that big down there. Well, whenever you see that white, I'm nervous. I seem like there's a big... That's a nice one. Check that out. Hog. Six pounds? Frosty clownfish. Dude, he drilled it. Yeah. Alright, what do you got? Grab him out of there. Whew, I'm shaking, dude. <laughs> he was pulling drag. Oh, he did you? Well, I was working him up with Frosty, and he came right up, mouth open. I mean, just oh, did he? just straight inhaled it. No, yeah. He just came and bumped mine. He's right under mine. They're coming in. There's two or three of them down there, Dave. Right. Yeah, got him. Oh, I lost him. Damn it. There's two or three down there. How did I lose him? Oh, they're still down there. I'm looking at yours. Oh, got him that time. Help me, help me. Oh, I got him. There's more down there. There's more down there. Gotta be. I've seen three of them come in, dude. How's that for a dinner bell bite? I seen him on the graph. He's got it. Oh, he had it. He's coming. Hey, thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I truly appreciate it. And for the announcement, February 19th, Sunday, 7 p.m., I'm hosting a live stream on my YouTube channel with the locally famous Jonathan Dirtka with the Michigan Spear Fishing Association. We're going to talk everything spearfishing. I got a bunch of comments and questions for them. 
Um, if you guys would like to attend, make sure you're there. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. He's going to be there to answer any questions you guys may have and any questions I have. But I'm looking forward to learning more about the sport and potentially maybe setting up a uh, trip with him this summer. So thank you guys again for watching. Be safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.